forestry indeed defines Kenya's beauty. The First Lady, speaking during the official opening of Kenya Orchid Society annual show, described orchids as being among the most beautiful flowers of the entire plant kingdom, combining exotic looks with a diverse set of unique characteristics. She also encouraged the society to increase awareness of special plants and flowers. As you know, I'm deeply passionate about education and child welfare. I congratulate the Kenya Orchid Society, which has developed an art competition for schools, including those which cater for underprivileged children. They're providing, they, they are provided with art supplies to draw different species of orchids, and the children's artwork increases the awareness of these special plants and encourages them to campaign against the destruction of our forests. She also urged Kenyans to emulate the unique relationship between flowers and the wild and choose to weave the country's diverse cultures into a national tapestry of harmonious coexistence. We are interdependent, interlinked and colourful society. We can learn from each other and take pride in our nation's diversity of culture, including language, dress, diet, sport, and how we socialize our children. Environment and Natural Resources CES Judy Wahungu applauded Kenya Orchid Society for guarding the posterity of the orchids in Karura Forest and Masai Mara, which boost tourism in the nation. Allow me to applaud the efforts of the Kenya Orchid Society to promote the beauty, cultivation, and conservation of orchids. During the occasion, Kenya Orchid Society Chairman Mr. Anand Savani donated 500,000 shillings in support of Hands of Our Elephants campaign. Diana Mundi, Citizen Live at One.